Russia is one of the world's top producers of oil and natural gas. Energy exports are the lifeblood of the Russian economy, so much so that John McCain once said, Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. And with its vast network of pipelines connecting it to its neighbours, Russia can exert significant influence outside of its borders. My name is Noah Brenner. I'm the Eastern Hemisphere Editorial Director for Energy Intelligence. We cover um, all aspects of energy, as well as energy policy and geopolitics. Russia's traditional oil and gas producing areas are here in western Siberia, and then we see an array of pipeline connections moving across western Russia into eastern, central, and eventually onto western Europe. One of those pipelines, Nord Stream 1, can deliver 55 billion cubic meters of gas to the EU every year. Nord Stream 2 would have doubled the amount of gas that Russia was moving into Germany. Now, of course, that made Western partners, particularly the United States, nervous because they saw it as locking in a role and a demand for Russian gas in Germany, but also for Russia within the energy policy and the geopolitical sphere of Europe. In response to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Nord Stream 2 has been halted. And ohne diese Zertifizierung kann Nord Stream 2 ja nicht in Betrieb gehen. But Europe isn't the only market for Russian energy. Oil demand and gas demand in Europe generally have been thought to have peaked. And so the future for Russia and the future for Russia's energy trade is towards Asia and towards China in particular. In Russia's far east lie another set of gas fields. They're connected to China via a pipeline called the Power of Siberia. In 2019, China's state media reported that by 2024, the pipeline would deliver 38 billion cubic meters of gas every year. Russia has proposals on the table to build a second one known as the Power of Siberia 2. But this alliance between Russia and China can be seen as another way that Russia is able to leverage its oil and gas supplies globally to create influence beyond what might be possible were it not uh, this energy powerhouse. Control over such giant energy supplies has some countries, particularly in Europe, worried about Russia's leverage. This idea of Russia weaponizing its gas supply, say withholding gas or oil supplies, has been a, a key question for many in the West. But to date, in history, we have not seen Russia do this. Russia supplies 40% of Europe's gas, and the alternatives are either underdeveloped green sources, phased down nuclear plants, or climate wrecking coal. With energy revenue crucial for Russia, any loss of sales could be damaging. But as Russia's invasion of Ukraine continues and Western sanctions persist, so too does a threat of an export cutoff. The conflict in Ukraine uh, with, with Russia's invasion has created seismic shifts within the way that Europe thinks about its energy, where it gets its energy from. Europe always knew that it was dependent on Russian energy and this was always seen as a weak point in its geopolitical and its security framework. This invasion and the rapidity and the force that Russia has employed in Ukraine has really galvanized Europe in a way to tackle this much more seriously than we've seen before.